Over time, technology has penetrated society to such a degree that even basic functions now seem almost inconceivable without technology. Indeed, this level of societal dependence on technology has become so deep that in a large number of fields there are now no manual fallback plans in cases of technological failure. By and large, even when technology fails, we tend to rely on more technology for rectifying the problems of techn technological use. Also, the rising trend of technologized decision-making that has taken certain fields by storm is even more alarming. In the foreign exchange markets, for example, 85% of all trading is conducted by algorithms alone, i.e. without any human intervention. This led the scholars investigating the phenomenon to call it the rise of the machines. In the UK, the ultra-high-speed version of algorithmic trading, high-frequency trading, is estimated to account for over 77% of transactions in the UK market. It's a tremendous scholarly piece. It's well worth reading. And let me give you one other component. Um, in categorizing the World Wide Web, for instance, Google uses proprietary algorithmic robots known as bots to create a searchable database that then ranks users' search results based on their search queries. The structuring of the bot-generated entries contains the logic of how something will be made searchable, though due to the complexity of the task, the interaction between bots and websites that are indexed must be unsupervised. While the millions of pre-indexed search results give the illusion of choice, almost 90% of humans don't get past the top 10 and i.e. an individual person reacting to the algorithmically generated search results intended to steer the person's behavior rather than a technology reacting to human stimuli i.e. a neutral search algorithm providing objective results to best serve a human using the technology the whole process feels like a search on the internet but it is actually a restricted human search of a technological pre-search of the internet, the search of a search. Hence, this is a case of a human reacting to technological stimuli. Very thought-provoking. I wrote an article about algorithms and, and high-frequency trading strategies in a piece called Currency Puzzles. And um, I was saying, you know, uh, we have seen exponential moves typically in the early hours when most of the world is in the land of naught and liquidity as its lowest. Um, I said wizards and gremlins stalk the night. And how the FX market was once upon a voiceover market, today it's entirely screen based and algorithmic, and high frequency trading is a big component. Um, HFD strategies utilize computers that make elaborate decisions to initiate orders based on information that is received electronically before human traders are capable of processing the information they observe. 